following is a presentation of Anime Championship Wrestling, the standard of CAW. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2019 ACWE Tournament Cruiserweight Clash. We continue with the first round as Kazuki Muto, the newly drafted Cruiserweight to Impulse, takes on the legendary hero himself, Beautiful Joe, as we will find out who will advance to the second round. Without any further ado, let's take it to Sacramento. Baby, I am Hockey and John Tier ACW commentator as always, and welcome to the 2019 ACW Elite Tournament Cruiserweight Clash. As tonight, we're going to witness a very interesting matchup as Beautiful Joe, the defender of Movie Land, is here making his ACW in ring debut in his first ever Elite Tournament appearance. Legend within the Capcom universe. We take a look at his stats here from the beautiful Joe series. Obviously, his signature maneuver, the Boomerang. And as stated, it's his first ever Elite Tournament appearance here tonight at the Golden One Center. Wow, the reaction here changed very quickly. of the ACW Impulse brand after what transpired at the ACW draft a couple of weeks ago. Kazuki Muto, a man that defeated his former partner and friend Yubiki Tokai at the ACW Direct episode before Anime Media 5. Went one-on-one -on -one against Edward Elric at the draft. He wasn't successful there, but saw his luck change as he is now a member of the Impulse brand. And he made his intentions clear that he will become a future Cruiserweight Champion. And what's one way to do that? What's one possible way to do it? Winning this whole Elite Tournament that guarantees you a Cruiserweight title shot anytime, anywhere within the upcoming season. Suzuki Muto looks game for a match against Beautiful Joe. No pun intended. Let's take a look at the stats here. From Buso Rankin. His maneuver the Sunlight Heart. Won the Turbo Rumble in 2008 to become the final Turbo Champion at Animania 2. So Kazuki Muto has an interesting pedigree in his career in ACW. No rings, and here we go, our fifth first round match of this tournament. The winner of this match will take on the winner of either Icky or Mob in the second round. See both men lock up here. Beautiful Joe has the arm here. Brings Kazuki down to a knee. And really yanks that arm in. And is Kazuki able to answer back with an arm bar of his own? And is Joe able to roll forward here? And Joe not going to allow Kazuki to intimidate him in the first moments of this match. Beautiful Joe here. No, wait a minute, Kazuki. Push beautiful Joe off here. Joe now to the ropes. Ducks under. So he with a leap frog. And look at this. Has the arm here. And oh, big forearm there. Kick to the face. Kick to the leg. Kazuki's taking down the knee. And look at this. Float over Tornado DDT by the beautiful one. Yes, I made that up. Cover. One. Kick out at one by Kazuki. Against Joe as Joe not wasting any time. Drop kick. Kazuki does not connect. Look at this. Joe taking down Kazuki with his arm. Crowd of Sacramento already loving the very flashy offense of beautiful Joe. Look at this now. Joe breaks the knee of, to, of Kazuki. Drops him down in the seated position at corner. Joe is looking to start things off. Oh, here and drop kicks the knee. Joe going for the quick cover. There's one. There's two. It's almost an early night.
for Kazuki here in Sacramento. Work over Kazuki here. Close lines. Kazuki over the top rope. Wait, wait a minute. I think Joe wants to go flying. Here we go. There we go. Spaceman punch up by Joe onto Kazuki. Have to agree with the crowd. That was pretty awesome. Kazuki not having a fresh night for someone that claims to be the future Cruiserweight Champion of Impulse. Oh, and a nice sit-out sent on by beautiful Joe, and Joe so far showcasing why his legacy is intact, and a drop kick to that leg once again. Suzuki's so gotta do something, this is, uh, it's not looking good. I think there's Joe with a flurry of strikes towards the torso and legs. But what to the opposite side here. Oh, and just dropped himself on top of it and slams his head multiple times against the mat. What, Joe from the top rope, moonsault. Hurt himself in the process, but got enough to where it was effective. Here's the cover, there's one. There's two, there's three. Oh man, that was close. We're talking 2.9 seconds close. Let's take a look at the offense of Joe here. It's been all Joe in this match so far. As Joe takes flight with a nice spaceman plancha onto Kazuki to the outside. And then we keep going with that sit-out sent up from the top turnbuckle. Followed up with a nice springboard moonsault from the top rope. So we are back live with Kazuki able to duck that kick from Joe. And look at this, rolling up from behind. There's one. Joe kicks that out one. Possibly this is where Kazuki starts getting momentum back. I may have stood corrected. Joe with these strikes keeping Kazuki down to his knees. Kazuki has got to do something. Close line by Kazuki. Joe to the middle of the ring here. Bulldog! Joe did not see it coming. Kazuki not going to waste it. Well, I was going to say he wasn't wasting time, but this might cost him here. Oh, wow! A nice flying neck breaker from the middle turnbuckle. Goes for the cover onto Joe, one. Shoulders are pinned down for two. And Joe kicks out before three. Beautiful Joe really showcasing his tenacity and speed here tonight. At least there's one Joe that I can like here in ACW at this point. Suzuki has slowed this pace down to his level here, tormenting and taunting Joe. Same man that turned his back on Hibiki, his former tag team partner, last season. Suzuki up top here. Nice crossbody. Catches Joe down to the mat. Suzuki might want to focus on Joe. This match isn't even over yet. Goes for the pin attempt here. Referee's down. There's one. There's two. And Joe kicks out before three once again. to become Cruiserweight Champion after just being drafted to the Impulse brand. I would think that Eagle would have to be bruised just a bit if his match with Edward Elric didn't say anything different. It's Kazuki. Leg drop onto Joe. Drops the elbow on the chest. Forearm across the face. One three for three there. Kazuki going for the cover once again. There's two. There's Stone! Only a two count. Kazuki continues to berate Joe verbally here. Now look at this. Chin lock with the knee digging in to the spine of Joe. Now Joe's got to find a way to figure out how to escape this hold by Kazuki. Kazuki's almost looking possessed here. Trying to escape. And he finally powers through. Suzuki with the left. Oh, and a boot. Or a sneaker to the face. Whatever you want to call it. It put Joe down. And hard. Let's take a look at the offensive 
Kazuki here. Flying neckbreaker from the middle of the turnbuckle. Falls up with a crossbody from the top. Putting Joe down. And then that big left there would follow up with a big sneak to the face. And Kazuki's in control. And Kazuki from the corner here. Just taking his time. Letting Joe be the one to get to his feet. Lost the punch. Fireman's carry by Kazuki onto Joe. Thrust the face, shoulder thrust. Oh, wait, neither by Joe. Can Joe find a way to get back the momentum he had earlier in this match? What a big forearm shot onto Kazuki. Now Joe from the top turnbuckle. Moon saw because he moved, he moved solid again. What a athleticism for Joe. The cover, the one, no. Kazuki shoulder up before three. What impressive feat by beautiful Joe. Faked the moonsault and completed it with an actual moonsault. No one Kazuki moved out of the way. Kazuki with the clothesline. Joe ducked it. Knee to the face. Kick to the torso. Switch the leg from behind. And Joe is starting to get the crowd here at the Golden One Center back in his favor. What a matchup. I gotta, I gotta say it. Joe has really showcased himself to be a formidable opponent to Kazuki Mudo. As he's up top here. Oh! Oh, the boomerang! He got the boomerang! Cover! One! Two! It's over! No! And Kazuki found a way to kick out of the boomerang. And Joe's like, what do I have to do to put this man away? Now the referee uses his discretion to check on Kazuki. I got a one that boomerang did put away. Kazuki pretty bad. Kazuki up to his feet here as beautiful Joe waiting for his next offensive maneuver here. Drop kicks the knee. That damage that he was working on throughout this match. Joe goes back to work on it. Very smart. The defender of Movie Land here. It's honestly anybody's match to win at this point. Kazuki's slow to get up here. Joe, way to make Kazuki, pushes Joe back. Big right by Kazuki. Oh, so light heart! To perfection! Cover onto Joe. One, two, and Kazuki has surprisingly put away Joe. As I was gonna finish up here as Joe hit that beautiful, beautiful boomerang onto Kazuki, only on a two count. And as I was trying to say that it was everyone's match to win here, Kazuki proves me right with a big right and capitalizes quickly with a sunlight heart, driving Joe's neck and head onto the mat. Kazuki wasted no time over the cover, and he got a three count. He is advancing to the second round of the Elite Tournament here. And with that, he will now await in the second round the winner between Maul and Icky in their matchup. Who will face? Uso Rankin's very own. But Kazuki nonetheless has advanced to the second round. I'm sure we won't hear the end of it. But folks, we will see you for the next match 